up YouTube? What's up YouTube? I'm back. I'm back. You can tell. It's another KDOT video. We're doing a KDOT Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar Marathon. Just in case y'all didn't get the memo. I'm letting y'all know right now. Kendrick Lamar Marathon, man. This Kendrick video that we did. It was him and J-Rock. No sleep to NYC. Well, this project right here is called C4. And this one is actually very heavily inspired by Lil Wayne. So, this came out in 2009. And there's no coincidence. In 2009, Lil Wayne was on top of the rap game. So, that was the intro. So, that was the intro. Uh, simple intro. It's Lil Wayne who met J-Rock and uh, K-Dot, Kendrick. And... He's co-signing them. Simple as that. He's giving him a shout out. I'm the best rap on the 25, 24 inches on my ride. Bar like 23 and I shout 28. Special rabbit, let him have it. Weather safe, we hungry. House in authority, save us a head in my stomach. I'm right here. I ain't running even if the Iraqis put what's his back on me back all day. I'm the best rapper on the 25, 24 inches on my ride. Oh, okay. He paid real good homage to Wayne right there. Sounded just like Wheezy F Baby. And what I also love is the album cover or the mixtape cover catch you guys his eyes closed just like Wayne do and the uh, eyelids is tattooed just like Wayne's is it's not Kendrick's is not really tattooed though it's fake but but you know that's <laughs> sheesh man hey he ripped that though you saw me just get up and get I was like mm, mm, I was feeling that <laughs> Oh, damn. First of all, that hook. He's trying to get his mom up out the hood. He's he, he's hustling like he broke and broke. But shout out to that alternate Wayne verse. Oh snap. And you know, he had to shout out Vince Lombardi. Hey man. Little Wayne's a Green Bay Packers fan, just in case y'all didn't know. I know that because I'm a Wayne head. That top dog is a stove, meaning that he is the product that when you cook that shit for let me Y'all get it. Yeah, I get it. Damn, he just burned the um, Kendrick Lamar was on the Amelie beat. With the homies. And this is my singer. Hey, man. Yo, okay, I'm feeling really good right now. This is, um, definitely. Bring, these beats are bringing back a lot of memories for me, spe specifically this era. We call this the Wayne era. Uh, the Wayne era for me was like middle school to freshman year. Yo, back when life was so damn simple. No bills, no responsibilities. I spawned with a dragon. Ooh, that was fire. First of all, I recognize that Kendrick verse. He spit that on a Funk Flex freestyle that one time. And then and Ab Soul and Punch. Oh my god, man. What a way to pay Wu Tang West Coast. West Coast Wu Tang? Yeah. What a way to pay homage to the to the Wu. To, what 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 what, 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 what way to pay homage? Right, so as you can see, this is a different surrounding. So let's do it. I remember the last track we was on was West Coast Wu Tang, and that track was that track blew my mind. So the next track would be 
phone home. Mm. Okay. Hey, he came with a lot of punchlines on that. There was a lot of punchlines on that song. Um it's not his best song by far. This might be the weakest song on the, on the whole mixtape thus far, to be honest. He sounds way too much like Wayne. Pretty much, you know, get, get the water boiling, just, you know, get in a jar or something like that. But the children, you need parental ambition if you want to learn how to cook in the dope business. First, your bug shot, 150 grams of soda, paste it in the beaker. The water should be boiling by then, grab a small cup and... Okay. So, Compton Chemistry. He's talking about making crack, y'all. <laughs> That's what he's talking about. He's talking about making crack. Um, he said all the ingredients, you know what I'm saying? He said get some baking soda, some water, a beaker. I don't know the ingredients. I'm just telling you what he told me. Good, I got a girlfriend too. It's a mutual move. So we do what grown folk do. She had a new name. Fresh air, you lost your voice yelling yeah. for my long ass hair. Uh -huh. After 112 playing, we could do it anywhere. That song was real interesting. I was vibing with it at the end. At first, I was like, Ugh, but then it started to grow on me towards the end of the song. And I was like, all right. And you know, I really rock with Ab Soul a lot. Uh, I think he's a highly underrated member of TDE. I can't wait to get into some Ab Soul projects, dog. Uh, definitely. Determination. My drive is like a thousand convertible engines. My mm. till I see the promised land, that's a promise. Llamas in the unfamiliar minivan. More drama only make more. Yeah. Yo, that gave me Sons of Anarchy vibes. <laughs> that really reminded me of sort of Sons of Anarchy for some reason. But uh, I was feeling what K Dot was saying. He's his driving ambition is 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 at fleet top premium right now but I, I it, this is that motivation type of music you know what I'm saying this is that this that this that hungry type of music that hunger let me talk to you type music right here thing is though I like it and I don't at the same time and the reason why I like it is because I told you it reminds me of Sons of Anarchy it, it sounds like it should be in a movie it sounds like it should be in an epic scene However, I don't really like it because I might catch some flack for this one. It's a bit corny. I don't really totally, I'm not all the way in, you know, and I'm not a hard person to please. It's not really K-Dot that's the problem. It's not Kendrick that's really the problem. Or Punch, shout out Punch. It's just the sound. It tells me about this girl that he knows. No, no. And said, make sure I come. Come, come, come. Oh, I could prove said, baby. I said, for baby. Yo, alright, I like this track a lot. Man, this was like a different sounding track right here. This sounds very different. Now he's starting to, he doesn't sound like so much like Wayne here. He's starting to sound like Kendrick Lamar here. Looking for a groupie, bitch I'm K Dot. Act like you knew me, got me fucked up. Me like a damn trapper wing. Hoes manicure him and up the bottom of my jeans so I kick him out. I'm like the homie Nas. I'm on some nigga shit. Mo chains, mo whip. Got guns on me because them niggas hate. Oh, this sucks. Stop it. Oh God. This song sucks. I can't believe I just said that. I cannot believe I just said that. I'm reviewing a Kendrick project, a K-Dot project, and I gotta honestly be honest. I'm an honest person. I don't care who it is. If something's good, I'm gonna let you know it's good. If something's bad, I'm gonna let you know it's bad. Still hustling on the C4 project? K dot this is not good you're trying way too hard to sound like Wayne way too hard <laughs> 
payday and I'm in a candy drop So for real, candy rain flooding his spot Firestone, meet me on Central And Rosecrain, Rosecrain, Goddamn Shit, I came a long way from selling rocks, boy Buy my cash money, you can call me hot boy So <coughs> Welcome to the C4 That song was pretty hard I ain't gonna lie, I really enjoyed it I think I enjoyed I gotta say I enjoy Absol's part the most, definitely Um Definitely Absol Absol has such a good voice And his whole technique and style is just He's always sound matured. Always. Everybody had no that my nigga Yang Yang had the RF. He had which really was dumb because where we was at was the other side. And whatever she was it, she was just so and so, so and so cousin. He was so rep. So anytime she got into it, that's who she would get. No freaky bitch, huh? She said, yeah, baby, I can get you strong. I can work that pussy and the tongue. If you come over, I can make you come. If you bitch, that's how you get your ass killed. Bitch, that's how you get your ass killed. Hey, that was some good storytelling right there. Damn, so that's how he got his ass killed. Oh, man. Woo. That always happens when you friend. You've always find it. When you friend, you always find yourself in a situation that you don't need to be in. Damn. No way. It rings bamboo. I said, No disrespect, girl. I want a sample. She come from school. Show me where you live at. Walked in, put the rubber on, then I killed that. So stupid. In a good way. I'm not hating on the track. It was funny. I like it. It's just they're being stupid. That's what I mean by that. Oh my god, that wee wee woo like a porn star. That shit was funny. Okay. I like this project simply for the fact that there's a lot of comedy in it. More comedy than I expected. It's not so serious. Beat drop within two bars. You already said I'm hot. They say, boy, my fruits of love are the instrumentals, all right? I admit it. Matter of fact, I got a hot date tonight. Real rap. To see the future better than your computers. Apple software got the next 10 years. Scared them. Duffer cover. Got your neck. I demand respect. If I never see a check, at least I got these rap niggas in check. Preach that was tough. That was tough. I gotta be honest. Kendrick's part, K-Dot's part was okay. It was good. It was good. He was spitting. But I'm gonna sound repetitive here, and I don't wanna keep saying the same thing over and over again. Y'all should already know why I'm not 100% feeling it. He sounds too much like Wayne. I for a second thought it was Wayne. Then I'm realizing, no, this is this is Kendrick. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm just not, it took me out of it. It took me out of it. However, when J-Rock's part came on, oh yeah. Okay. Real talk. Feel so good. Why I always feel that I'm hot? Why I always feel I should drop another jewel like Martin on Blue Street? Why you do is get me in bars harder than my dick when the tip gets slick quick. Roll for cover like Winston's hair. Then listen here. Rep is a legend. That's where I get my shit from. Straight lab rat. Spit it once, run it back like. He didn't sound like Wayne at all on this one. This was one of my favorite tracks, especially the part where he talks about corrupt. And he's like, he can freestyle better than corrupt. And how everybody in Philly knows it. Oh, bruh. This. Uh oh. Yes, Kendrick. Captain Most Wanted, haunted by the ghost of the dead. Climbing out the casket with the California. Where the violence live and the peace remains homeless. Kill us off the leash and I rekindle your name. <laughs> Okay, that was hard, that was hard, play with fire. So that concludes the mixtape C4, that's over y'all, that was C4, and that was dope, that was a dope mixtape, uh, definitely not my favorite mixtape thus far, that we've heard from K-Dot, uh, but it was still good nonetheless. There were some things that I definitely didn't like about it, and there were some things that I thought were okay, and then the ones that clicked, really clicked. So I'm not gonna hold you guys any longer. Um, I'm gonna get right to my final score. My final score, 
I gotta be honest, this was a 7 out of 10. This was a solid 7. Um, for sure, for sure. Biggest issue was, sounded too much like Wayne. You were a Wayne copycat. Like, I, I didn't like it. At, at times it worked, and then you, it, a lot of times it didn't. It was oversaturated. You know, the last thing the world needed at that time was more Little Wayne music. We already had enough of the original. We didn't need a photocopy. Uh, I just needed Kendrick to be himself. And there were some glimpses where Kendrick was himself. And it was brilliant. Everybody to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Subscribe if you're new. Please like, comment, and share the video. Comment down below what you think. And please comment down below what you want me to react to next. And please, while you're ready, ready to comment down below, go to the description box and click that merch link, teespring.com. Please do that for your boy. The hustle is real. We are grinding, grinding, grinding. And on that note, that was Kendrick Lamar. That was K.C4. And I'm going to catch everybody at the next video.